welcome back guys another question for all of you and that is again from the protein structure and this question is pretty big and this is a kind of very much analytical question very low input of mathematical uh, nature here but you need to analyze the question you need to understand the question it will be easy to answer so let's start a protein was purified to homogeneity and the determination of molecular weight using molecular weight exclusion chromatography or size exclusion chromatography was performed and to yield actually after this size exclusion chromatography what we get is 6 kd sorry 60 kd it should be 60 kd protein we get 60 protein uh, kd then chromatography in presence of 6 molar urea only yields us 30 kd species and updated chromatography in presence of 6 molar urea as well as 10 millimolar beta marker ethanol yield us one single species of 15 kda now after knowing all these informations what we need to answer we need to know what exactly the structural feature of the protein that means whether it is a dimer or trimer or tetramer uh, homodimer or heterodimer or homotetramer or heterotetramer whatever type of structure it is and what is the molecular weight of the dimer of each monomer of that protein so that is the question what is the whether it is a dimer trimer tetramer it's a homodimer or a heterodimer or we need to find along with that is the molecular weight of each monomer of the dimer or tetramer whatever so let's read it again so once you get this type of questions the key to answer this type of question is to read it again and again and again ultimately get some sense of it that is the protein was purified to homogeneity that means it's completely now purified no other things are there no dna contamination no rna contamination nothing else is there only the protein is present that's fine second thing determination of molecular weight using such size exclusion chromatography is a 16 kda uh, species so after we take that uh, using exclusion chromatography we get one protein only and that is 60 kd so obviously the peptide structure it, it weighs 60 kd we know that because the 60 kd protein that we achieve after size exclusion chromatography is a pure protein we know that because it's already been purified so the main protein is of 60 kd so nothing else from the 60 kd so that is the first information we get it is a 60 kda protein now after that the chromatography in presence of 60 molar urea you know what urea does in protein it actually denatures protein how actually urea uh, uses the same process as the heat to denature the protein that means it disrupts the hydrophobic core structure of the protein after it disrupts the hydrophobic core all those protein uh, structures get kind of linear it get kind of soluble in the in, in the solution in the water in the solvent and finally uh, it, it works easier to separate all the side chains and all these things all the chains of the protein to get a linear peptide and that's what urea does six molar urea is exactly high quantity so that it can break it now after the presence of uh, six molar urea chromatography we get a 30 kd species and that's an important fact so after we denature this we get a 60 kd protein we know that urea denatures the protein you know urea denatures it from from the core so it separates all those units apart right now after that updated molecular chromatography after that after this chromatography is done what they've done here they update the situation and they update the situation and they now conduct the same chromatography in presence of six molar urea along with in presence of also 10 millimolar beta markup to ethanol and we know beta markup to ethanol is very important ingredient to again disrupt protein actually beta markup to ethanol disrupts the disulfide bonds because beta markup to ethanol acts as the reducing agent so as it reduces the disulfide bond again sulfide bridge will, will be broken and the protein side chains will be separated so ultimately it will separate them and finally after this type of chromatography we achieve one single species of 15 kda uh, protein so ultimately what we can conclude from here so let's let me let me come here so we have a 16 kd protein at the very beginning 60 kd right so we have 60 kd protein at the beginning so what we used to do here we use the size exclusion chromatography after the size exclusion we get that so size exclusion uh, chromatography we get that after that getting uh, 60 60 kd protein what we use is simply uh, the chromatography in presence of six molar urea and once we've conducted that it will break it apart and what they form here they form this species of 30 kd and actually we cannot distinguish because 
two separate 30 kd can be formed from this particular location so once this 30 kd spec is formed after that what we do we again treat this 30 kd with you know this time six molar urea along with that we use 10 millimolar beta markup to ethanol so you know beta markup to ethanol in a urea disrupt again urea produces that that chain again so actually it's not this 30 kd spec we use the same thing we use the 60 kd to we treat it with now urea and beta markup to ethanol separately right we, we do not use urea and uh, beta market on that, what I've drawn previously. We never do this. We, we take this 60 kD. We first use only urea to get this 30 kD. And then we use urea and beta market to ethanol. And then what we get? We get 2, 15. I mean, we get only one species that is 15 kD. So by looking at it, what we can say here, so uh, each time once you get the band, once you get uh, this, this uh, after the chromatography, once we get each of these molecules, we just load it into the gel to find out the weight of it and we find out the molecular weight in each time that is, you know, 15 kD or 30 kD and all these things. So by looking at it, what we can say is that during this process, once you use only urea, it simply disrupts the structure, globular structure to form this 30 kD. But each time if you use urea and BME, Urea destabilizes the structure to make it a linear and beta market ethanol break the disulfide bridges. So ultimately it will form a 15 kD. That means if the total protein weighs 60 kD and after all this beta ME and all this we can get 15 kD. That means obviously there are somewhere a disulfide linkage present in this protein structure which is of 60 kD. See, there is disulfide structure that is broken using beta markup ethanol. Without the treatment of that ethanol, that disulfide structure is not broken. That's why we get 30 kD species instead of 15. So, try to imagine that we have a 15 kD structure of protein here. Another 15 kD structure of protein. They are attached with the disulfide linkage. So, try to imagine the situation. So, here they are attached with disulfide linkage. Similarly, so this complete structure will call, uh, have 30 kD. So 30 kD will result if we don't use beta markup to ethanol because beta markup to ethanol break this disulfide linkage. So ultimately we get 15 kD each. So ultimately if it is 16 kD of whole, so definitely, definitely there are another two subunits similarly that are also being added like that, right? So, and then somehow these two units are attached with some other kind of interaction except disulfide. They might be interacting with hydrophobic interactions, uh, majorly hydrophobic or uh, any charge interaction which is broken by urea treatment. So ultimately this is how this protein actually produced. So this is the whole structure of protein of 60 kD. You can get the idea now, it's of 16 kD. But now if we treat with it with only urea, this, this strands are broken, we get 30 each. If we use urea along with BME, this strands also broken, we get 4 of 15 kD, so ultimately 64 kD. So that's how you get the idea of the protein structure by looking at this type of questions. You need to apply your knowledge into the questions. These are the C group questions in CSI net which used to come uh, more tight. So 4 marks and huge, actually you need to understand what the situation is to find out the answer. You need to know what the action of urea, what is the action of BME to ultimately answer this question. Thank you.